The military and spy base, usually referred to as Pine Gap, plays an important role in the global surveillance state apparatus. Officially called the Joint Defense Facility Pine Gap, this site is operated by both the Australian and U.S. governments. Or at least that's the spin. In reality, it is completely controlled by various U.S. governmental agencies. It is, though, one of Australia's most secret sites. Or is it that secret? In October of 2018, Netflix released a show literally titled Pine Gap. They know the world's secrets. This can just stay with us. But Netflix is the most watched streaming service in the world, so the name Pine Gap is not so secret. But what actually happens within the walls of the base are still widely unknown and only to a certain degree. Pine Gap is a United States military facility established in 1970, about half an hour's drive from Alice Springs in the what's called the dead centre of Australia. It was established initially as a base run by the CIA and there were about three uh, radomes at that time. More recently, it's been controlled by the NSA. There are now 33 radomes of different sizes and purposes. Um, and at the base, there are also representatives of the intelligence services of the United States Army, Navy and Air Force. And there are representatives of uh, corporations, including Raytheon. The base has a staff of about a thousand, which is about half American, half Australian. In recent years, the Australians have been given greater access um, to information and the, the functioning of Pine Gap, but some areas are still off limits and some information is still not made available to Australians working at the base or to the Australian government. Pine Gap sits on the land of the Aranda people, one of the indigenous communities in this country. When the base was set up, the Aranda traditional owners were given a document written in English, which of course they couldn't read or understand, and they were pressured into signing it with their thumbprints. And that constituted permission for the base to be established and the land taken away from its traditional owners, who received no compensation and have never received any rent, nor are they given any more information than anybody else about what is do being done on their traditional land. In the previous Global Network video titled, How Military Satellites Spy on You, we describe the communication links with the satellites in outer space, which are tied to downlink stations here on Earth. One of those downlink stations is Pine Gap. These antennas are much more powerful today, picking up satellite and cell phone conversations and their locations. The data is used in the conduct of war, particularly in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria, but also towards people allegedly carrying out terrorist activities. The Australian government lied about the establishment of Pine Gap. It told the locals that it was a space base. It was, was a, a base for observing space. But over the years, it's come to be realized that it's a CIA base, and then it was an American military base. And now the Australians understand more about it because of the agitation of the local peace movement. Uh, there have been uh, various uh, campaigns against it, but uh, myself and others formed the Australian Anti-Basis Campaign in 1987. This was a national group, and we planned to, every two years, go to Pine Gap or the other major base in, in uh, not far away called Narunga. And we, we did that for many years. 
Uh, recently, our most recent demonstration of Pine Gap was in 2016. To get a sense of the distance from the main population centres, it, it is 24 hours in a bus from Sydney to Pine Gap. So it's quite a distance, it's quite difficult to get to for the ordinary Australian, but we have put many thousands of people outside the gates of Pine Gap and drawn attention to the to the uh, to this base and the need to close it. Recently, Pine Gap surveillance capabilities have been massively expanded. It is now a multi-agency, multi-purpose mega intelligence center. The most important role for Pine Gap is processing information to the United States. This information provides targets for U.S. missiles, bombs and drones, intelligence for U.S. economic and military activities, military command and control functions, information on ballistic missile tests, and early warning of missile launches. The base provides photographs of terrain, buildings, troop movements, the aftermath of bombing raids, and other various activities. Pine Gap also plays a major role in U.S. plans to put weapons in space. Pine Gap is part of the USA's worldwide military nuclear strategy. From this space, the information that is recorded in this space is used to target. And uh, the United States can use this information in conventional and nuclear wars. So for all the peace-loving people of the world and uh, in of Australia, it is vital that this base close. This base is also used to intercept domestic communication and, uh, and communication between ourselves and people overseas. This is a spying and surveilling base on, on the Australian population and on the region. That's another reason why it should close. It spies on the military communications of other countries and, uh, and uses that information in various ways. It also is part of missile defence, a system which would enable the United States to conduct a nuclear war without fear of retaliation. And finally, the base is used for drone attacks. So somebody in the United States can go to work at nine o'clock in the morning and, and kill people in Yemen using a drone. So this is a very serious base. It's a very serious uh, blot on our national consciousness and it's very important that it be closed for the sake of Australians and for the sake of the world. Pine Gap is engaged in a collective all surveillance, military as well as civilian, linked directly to military operations, including drone strikes. United States satellites transmitting through Pine Gap monitor the military, economic, political, and domestic telephone, mobile, microwave, and VHF radio communications of target countries, which can be U.S. enemies, but also allies. There are four distinct types of surveillance operating at the base. One, advanced Orion satellites for signals intelligence. Two, interceptions from communications, from the ground looking up towards hundreds of communication satellites and a foreign military and civil satellites. Three, it operates as a ground station for infrared sensors. Four, space tracking and surveillance system for missile defense and space situational awareness. And then there's that secret room on the base in which even Australians aren't allowed to enter. For decades, Australian government officials have claimed that they know everything that is going on at Pine Gap, mainly in response to the public demanding answers to what the CIA and other U.S. military agencies are doing there. So much has been, and still is, in secret. 
Now, we have confirmation of a room in which no Australian is allowed to enter, inside of a military base mainly operated by U.S. intelligence and military agencies. In the 2018 report from Privacy International titled, Secret Global Surveillance Networks, Intelligence Sharing Between Governments and the Need for Safeguards, the report acknowledges the importance of preventing terrorist threats, but the intelligence sharing at Pine Gap, quote, does interfere with fundamental human rights, including the right to privacy. Thus, just as government surveillance must be transparent and subject to adequate safeguards and oversight, so too must intelligence sharing agreements. Non-transparent, unfettered, and unaccountable intelligence sharing, on the other hand, poses substantial risks to human rights and the democratic rule of law. Sean Westmoreland, a former U.S. Air Force signals relay technician who has deployed to Afghanistan and participated in setting up the communications infrastructure for lethal drones, says, You have different countries doing different things, all working together. It's a collaborative effort, and it's really hard to say the Australians are responsible for this, the British are responsible for that. Everybody is working together. And if the Australians were involved in one piece that happened to be used in a strike, they're essentially complicit with whatever the end result is. The advanced technologies being used by the imperialist powers of the world are inevitably entangled in the military and intelligence agencies of the world. As these imperialist powers merge together, uniting to oppress the poorest people of the world, the blame can become more complex, but the Australian government has been involved directly and indirectly with many U.S. interventions and wars, making the Australian government complicit in any war crime in which they are a part of. The Australian government and its military and intelligence agencies are serving another foreign power, compromising the interests of their own people, of the indigenous people of Australia and of the poorest people in the world where bombs continue to be dropped on a daily basis. The struggle of the people of Australia against their own government is ultimately connected to other struggles around the world. This is not an Australian issue anymore. This is a global struggle. Outside Australia, we'd be really grateful for your help. We need to publicize what Pine Gap is doing, and we'll argue then for a, a public inquiry in this country and as part of the process of getting the base closed down. So we would ask activists anywhere to go to Australian embassies and consulates, hand in protest letters, maybe write letters to their local newspapers, but send letters and emails and anything else to the consulates of Australia and the embassies of Australia showing that they know what Pine Gap is about and they are opposed to its functions and its very existence. It should be returned to the Aranda people to be used for peaceful purposes. Mm -hmm.